Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, we have breaking news with Melania Trump, okay? She came out and spoke and we have some awesome news from Donald Trump and Melania Trump heading forward to 2024 to hopefully get back a win in the White House, my friends. So, Melania Trump, this beautiful, awesome woman, she's also come out and spoke about the allegations made against Donald J. Trump. As you guys know, Donald Trump was just ordered to pay $83 million by the jury to E. Jean Carroll, right? And so we have some words from Melania Trump I want to share with you all, my friends. And Donald J. Trump just spoke about Melania, too, about, yeah, like heading into 2024. I mean, so we have a lot to cover today. And, you know, I really want to make sure that I use my show as just a platform to share unbiased news and share you guys good news. And, you know, there's so much drama on TV and Oh, you know, you, and it, it goes on both sides, you know. You turn on the liberal news and they're bashing Trump and you turn on the Republican news like, and, and they're bashing the other side. And I'm guilty of that as well, okay? I'm not, you know, I'm... <laughs> I like to call out BS where I see it and I like to call out BS on both sides. But at the same time, I also want to bring good news, positive news, because I think the world needs more of it. And one good and positive thing that I'm very, you know, happy to bring you guys is the news with Donald Trump and Melania Trump and them talking about God. So I wanna play some of that footage as well because they, if you guys know, they talk about worshiping God and they talk about Jesus a lot. Like every year in Christmas, they always say, this is about the miracle of the birth of our savior, Jesus Christ. And Melania Trump, such a prayerful woman, they attend church pretty often. So before we jump in to the news, I want to read the Bible and pray because God comes first. Amen. <laughs> Comment below if you believe that that God comes first. You know, we can read the, sh the news all we want. We can read the truth all we want. But hey, at the end of the day, the Bible is the most important thing that we can do. All right. This comes from the book of Isaiah. So do not fear. For I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. How beautiful is that? God is telling us to not fear, for he is with us and he will strengthen us. So comment amen down below. That's Isaiah. I really, really like that Bible reading. And now, Donald Trump says that Melania will be active. So there's a new interview that just came out with Donald Trump and he talked about his family. This just came out today, my friends. So we got breaking news. <laughs> All right. Trump says that Melania will be, quote, active by his right side in 2024. And Donald Trump also revealed his son's Barron's real height. <laughs> in an interview, Donald Trump claimed that his wife, Melania, will be active and by his side all throughout his 2024 presidential campaign and also disclosed his son Barron's real height. <laughs> Donald Trump has claimed his wife will be active by his side in 2024 and he disclosed how tall his pampered son Barron really is. Uh, Trump claimed that his wife will be active despite her notice, notice, noticeable absence in an interview conducted uh, voters began to gather at the polls for the New Hampshire primary. The former president said he looks to his first lady for guidance and commended her for her compassion. She wants to make America great again too, Trump says. I rely on her for advice and all the others. I think she will be very active in the sense of being active. In addition, Trump said that he was worried about his family who have been the subject of unfair insults ever since he took office and began his presidential campaign. Yeah, a lot of you guys said, you know, that E. Jean Carroll, they're suing Trump for defamation. Trump says, hey, I never even met that woman. If, and if that's true, that Trump never even met that woman, she should be held liable for that, right? I mean, hey, I'm, you know, I'm taking Trump's side on this because I think he's a very honest man. 
anytime something's come out about Trump, he always goes, yep, that's true. You know, I made allegations, you know, I, Trump said I made comments about these women. He goes, yep, I did. Locker room talk. He's like, Trump's, Trump says it how it is. He doesn't ever walk back on his statements, you know. Um, and, you know, somebody like Nikki Haley, she said, oh, I'll never run against Trump. You know, he's my favorite president. And, you know, a few months later, she announces her campaign. It's like, Donald Trump, my friends, if that's actually true, that he said he never even met, met him, met her, I mean, that's wild to me. Um, so, he said that his son, Baron, is six feet eight inches tall. Oh my gosh. So, I wanted to jump into uh, some of these videos from Melania Trump talk, uh, about the allegations and just um, some other videos as well. So, firstly, this is Trump delivering a victory speech at the caucus and he's thanking his wife Melania Trump. I really love their relationship as a couple. You know, they go to church together, they pray together. They're really nice and respectful for, uh, with each other, unlike how Michelle Obama trashes her husband Barack Obama on TV and she says, oh, for 10 years of my marriage, I didn't even really like him. This is very different. You can tell that Trump and Melania have God in their lives. Let's watch this. I want to thank my incredible wife, uh, the First Lady, I'll say former and maybe future. But more important than Melania, I want to thank her incredible, beautiful mother who passed away a few days ago. And she's up there, way up there. She's looking down and she's so proud of us. And I just want to say to Amalia, you are special. One of the most special people I've ever known. Wow, I have chills right now. This is so nice. Oh, so sad that her mother died. And uh, that was a tough period of time for the family, but she, uh, she's amazing. She was amazing. So I just want to thank what she's done for our family. What a tough year that this whole family has had. Trump going to all these trials, all these allegations, Trump campaigning to save America, Trump getting trapped. I mean, this whole family getting tied up in this and then Melania's mother dies. This is such a such a tough year. We need to pray for this family and her husband who's home right now and very lonely He's a lonely man, but he's gonna be okay Victor They're great people great uh, Great parents to all of us really great parents, but also to Baron boy did she take care of Baron That's how he got so tall. He only ate her food And I want to thank my family generally uh, they've worked so hard and they've taken so much abuse for being good people. I mean, good people, but uh, Eric and Don, they really did, these two have been working so hard and they, uh, you know, they have another job also. So <laughs> they have to do it all, but they, uh, they've they been working so hard. And Wow, look at them both standing next to him. I know that Ivanka is home and Tiffany's home, they're watching. And I know that Baron's watching, good old Baron. He said, <laughs> I said, you're gonna be a basketball player. I said, well, I like soccer, Dad, actually. I said, oh. at your height, I like basketball better, but you can't, sometimes you can't talk them into everything. But he's a special boy, but the whole family <laughs> is just incredible. And my uh, sister, Elizabeth, who's uh, just the biggest fan, she's just an incredible person and uh, always supportive. We love Elizabeth so much. What an amazing family that they have. That's so beautiful. This was a clip from the funeral. that I'm attending the funeral. Uh, Donald Trump attends funeral for mother-in-law with Melania. It looks like it was at a church. There's Baron there. Baron is very tall. Wow, how, how beautiful. How sad, how sad that was. Oh, such a sad day for Melania. I love how the priests actually treat them with respect that they deserve. I just wanted to play some of Melania Trump's eulogy that she uh, said at her mother's funeral because I think it's beautiful. Ines, my sister, and me was boundless. Her nurturing spirit had no limits creating a legacy that will last for generations. She showered her grandson Baron with affection, illuminating his world with love, tender care, 
and unwavering devotion. In her presence, we were enveloped in the warmth of her embrace. We will be forever grateful for the unparalleled affection she bestowed on us. She embodied the best mother, wife, grandmother, mother-in-law, a true beacon of love and luxury in our lives. With her beauty and impeccable sense of style, she turned the heads of many. But it's not just her appearance that set her apart. It's her unwavering dedication and hard work that truly made her exceptional. Like a string that holds everything together, she balanced the demands of motherhood with grace and poise. From managing the household to pursuing her own ambition in fashion, she never ceased to amaze with her resilience and determination. Amalia is a name that carries significant meaning in various cultures, symbolizing qualities such as strength, dedication, and a strong work ethic. Her name was really a perfect match. She worked tirelessly, pushing herself beyond her limits, fueled by the fire within. She is a true inspiration, a role model to me and to so many. With her passion for cooking, she transported every dish, which she curated with her spices from her garden to new heights. For those who experience the cooking creation, it was bliss. I'm fortunate that she taught me many of her secrets to creating the signature delights. Her experiences and sophistication were shared with me at a very young age and opened my eyes to the true essence of couture. She effortlessly introduced me to the charming world of fashion with tales of her glamorous travels to Paris and neighboring European capitals. With each whispered detail of the splendid fashion shows, spectacular cities and chic boutiques, she ignited passion within me, a desire to immerse myself in this extraordinary universe. Her travels became my getaway to the land of fashion allure, forever changing my perception of the art forum and inspiring me to embrace this captivating industry. She was a creator of dreams, and I'm forever grateful for the beauty she brought into my life. I will always cherish our time together. Often in the late hours of the evenings, we sketched designs and made patterns together, and then with each stitch, she finished crafting a masterpiece. Her hands always delicately waved threads of opulence, every detail meticulously designed and ultimately transformed into a piece of artwork. Her sense of adventure opened a lens beyond Slovenia. Unforgettable family ski trips in the Alps and idyllic summers spent on the breathtaking aquamarine shores of the Dalmatian coast. She adored the radiant sun as its golden rays sun-kissed her skin as she strolled along the beautiful waters. In the following years, she often texted me gorgeous snapshots of Mother's Nature's landscape. She loved the familiarity of her homeland to be with her newborn grandson in the United States. He was my mother's compass and focus. With each step she took, she embraced the privilege bestowed upon her and in time, the privilege of becoming a U.S. citizen. She vowed to contribute, to make a difference in the world filled with uncertainty. She executed an exquisite sense of pride as my husband became the President of the United States and as I embarked on a grand odyssey traveling the corners of the globe as the First Lady. My father, my sister, Baron Donald and I will forever remember the echoes of our laughter that we share with our beloved Bobby over fun dinners and travels. 
Her conversations flowed effortlessly, adorned with grace and charm. No topic was off limits. In her presence, the world seemed to shimmer with radiant joy. She was not just a friend, but a confidant, a ray of light in the darkest of days. In her company, I found peace, knowing that she would always be there to listen. She celebrated our successes and provided unwavering support during chaotic times. Our bond was unbreakable, a testament to the power of a true love for one another. She was my dear friend, an irreplaceable treasure, a gift bestowed upon me by the universe. And for that, I'm entirely grateful. Rest in peace, my beloved mommy. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plan. Wow, what a beautiful eulogy that she gave. And I just wanted to uh, take some time to share some other beautiful videos from Melania Trump as well. This is uh, an awesome video that that Melania gave when she was first lady. This is a day of prayer message. You can just tell how, you know, respectful she is to God and, and for prayer and how, how powerful she thinks prayer is. And hey, maybe she's given us a little message today too about how we do need to pray. On this year's National Day of Prayer, we are confronted with the challenges of an invisible enemy. One that can only be defeated through unity and our nation's strength, love, and devotion to each other. All through history, Americans have unified in challenging moments and during our greatest times of need. Yeah, we do need to unite right now with all of what's going on in our, in our nation. We always turn to prayer, our dear citizens. Through prayer and faith, we will get through this together. When we reach out to our Lord, let us remember I can do everything through him who gives me strength. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America. Amen. Wow, what a wonderful prayer from such an awesome woman. And she even quoted the Bible. That, that was Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Wow, Melania Trump quoting scripture. You will not see that from the Biden administration. Melania Trump, how beautiful would it be to get her back in the White House too? So uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Donald Trump was ordered to pay $83 million in E. Jean Carroll. And Mel I wanted to share this video of Melania Trump uh, talking about these allegations of women going after her husband. To hear. Because Melania Trump actually defends her husband. But let's watch this first. We're getting some new information in right now that Trump must pay $18.3 million in damages to Carol. Not 18.3, Fox News, 83. Um, so we're waiting to get more information on that. It's just kind of flowing in. So that's why I'm looking down and trying to read the latest at this time. Yeah, we're getting the same thing here. $18.3 million, substantially above the $5 million that was originally a part of the... Is it 18? I thought it was 83. The original case, Andy McCarthy... Um, we're looking for more details than just that, but this is significantly above even the 12 million. Yeah, it is 83 million. Over $83 million in damages to writer E. Jean Carroll, who sued the former president for defaming her. And now let's listen to Melania Trump talking about her husband and these women who go after him because she defends him. And it's I think it's quite beautiful. I know you want your voice to be heard on this. So a number of women have come forward. They've made allegations against your husband. Some of them go back more than 30 years. He has said they're lying. Do you believe him? I believe my husband. 
I believe my husband. This was all organized from the opposition. And Whoa, she talks like her husband Trump. She's like, it's organized by the opposition. That is, that's pretty cool. And um, with the details that they go, did they ever, did they ever check the background of these women? Uh, they don't have any facts. And um, even the story that came out in People magazine, the writer that she said that my husband took her to the room and started kissing her, she wrote in the same story about me that she saw me on Fifth Avenue and I said to her, Natasha, how can I, we don't see you anymore? I was never friend with her. Oh my gosh! So even Melania Trump is like, I didn't even, I wasn't even friends with that girl. Like her story's made up. I would not recognize her. Oh my it gosh. Never happened. never happened. That's why I sent them the letter because it discredited the story. Right, you, she, your, your lawyer has sent a letter to People of, Magazine saying they course. have to retract. Yes, because it was not true. So how we could, how we could believe her? That never happened. I was never friend with her. I saw her. She interviewed us twice. She came to the wedding and for that story. That's it. I would not recognize her on the, on the street or ask her why we don't see her anymore. So that was another thing like, you know, people come out saying lies and not true stuff. Whoa, how cool. Melania Trump is really defending her husband here. Pain been harder than you've expected? I mean, I, I know you said you came into this with your eyes open, but has it, yeah, has it been tougher than you expected? I didn't expect media will be so dishonest and so mean. I didn't expect that. Oh, I feel bad for her. I really feel bad for her. They're just trying to help America. So for me, from the beginning, I never had one correct story, one, um, honest story from New York Post two days in a row they put me on the cover um, with the pictures that I did many many years ago as a model I'm very proud I did those pictures I'm not ashamed of my body wow I like I like hearing that I'm feel very comfortable with myself and with she should she's a beautiful woman my body and they were taken for a European French magazine. And in Europe, we are proud of the bodies, no matter what size you are. Mm. And it was done as an art, as a celebration of female body. So they put it twice in a row. In that story, they put the date when pictures were taken wrong. They never called me when the pictures were taken. Ew, New York Post? I used to like New York Post. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Just lost my respect. There were allegations that, that they, yeah, I it, was, was here. it was much earlier than you much were actually here. Correct. And suddenly it becomes, I'm here illegally. I was married before. I said like, yeah, find me the husband that I was married before my husband. <laughs> uh, so I, there were a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of dishonest stuff. So even Melania Trump says the media is dishonest. Was this the last uh, message she gave as first lady? My fellow Americans, it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as first lady of the United States. I have been inspired by incredible Americans across our country who lift up our communities through their kindness and courage goodness and grace. The past four years have been unforgettable. As Donald and I conclude our time in the White House, mm. I think of all of the people I have taken home in my heart and their incredible stories of love, patriotism, and determination. I see the faces of brave young soldiers who have told me with their pride in their eyes how much they love serving this country. To every service member and to our incredible military families, you are heroes. I always love how much Trump and Melania respect servicemen and women. So here's a really cool flashback video of 
Donald Trump and Melania Trump as newlyweds. I mean, people should watch this stuff, guys. Like, people don't realize how cool Donald Trump and Melania Trump are. Mrs. Trump, Melania Trump, the international cover girl, has now joined us. We got um, to discuss the media. How did you two meet? Uh, we met in New York, um, 1998. It was a fashion week, September. Whoa! <laughs> Donald Trump hanging out fashion week. September 1998. The famous fashion week. The famous fashion week. In were you New York. introduced? Well, no. We were both at the same party, and uh, that's how we met. He how awesome is that? Like right me. away. I went crazy. I said I was actually supposed to meet somebody else, and there was this great supermodel sitting next to Melania. <laughs> I was supposed to meet this supermodel, and. They were saying, look, there's so-and-so. I said, forget about her. <laughs> the one on the left. <laughs> this is awesome. I you like him right away. It was a great chemistry and energy. We had, uh, you know, great time. He's, we started to talk and, you know, it was something was there right away. And it was a long engagement. It was. Why? Well, you know, we just had a great time and we didn't worry about it and, you know, just live lives. And Look how beautiful Melania Trump. I mean, she still is very beautiful, but my gosh. And then one day, surprise. How did the proposal take place? Well, we were together. Give it to us. And, it, I, you know, it, just live lives and then one day, surprise. How did the proposal take place? Well, we were together. To us. We were together five years. We literally have never had an argument or uh, forget about the word fight. We never even had an argument. We just are very compatible. We get along. And I just said, you know what? It's time. And it wasn't a big. I love the way Melania looks at Donald Trump too. You could just tell that the love they have. It was almost That's like it was obvious. It. You know what? It's time. No, I did, I did a little better than that. I, you know, without going into too much detail, but <laughs> it was time and. We just have a very good relationship. And I just, I wish that more people would, you know, see, see how, you know, see the love and see the, the hope and the, the compassion. And it just breaks my heart to see people go after them so, so poorly like that. Here's Melania Trump speaking about her life, her marriage. Uh, this was a, also a little flashback, but I really want to share this stuff with you guys because I think it's really cool. But it's amazing what's going on and uh, we're having fun. I like to keep it life as normal as possible for my son Baron and uh, I'm a full-time mom and I love it. So I decided not to be in the campaign so much but I support my husband 100%. We want to understand who Melania is. I grew up in Slovenia mm -hmm. and I went to school there. I study design and architecture. And then I moved to Milan and Paris to live there. I love her eyes, by the way, and the way she looks, the way she holds eye contact. It's, it's quite remarkable. This woman is so unique, and I think more people should look at her as a figure of, of hope and compassion. It, I mean, she really does embody all of those really cool, uh, you know, um, components in her life. And uh, I had successful modeling career. I came to New York 1996. How many languages do you speak? I speak few languages. A few? Yeah. English? English, Italian, French. Uh, oh, bonjour, bonjour, Melania. Ho, ho, ho. German. Tu... <laughs> Est-ce que tu, est tu voudrais un, un croissant, en fait? A few? Yeah. English? English, Italian, French. Uh, German. Tell me about your mother. Really? German, Italian, French? Special. Uh, she's with a lot of elegance and style. Aww. She was in the fashion industry for a long time. What did your father do? He was um, um, a salesperson and then he was a manager of the company. And once the Slovenia separated and was possible to have own business, he opened his own business. What was it that you saw in Donald when you met him? or fell in love with him. His mind, amazing mind. I love the way they talk about each other. It's so like nice and compassionate. So I just wanted to share this really cool story that just came out earlier this month. Uh, Donald Trump's reclusive spouse, 
makes new agreement about her role in his campaign. So this is basically a insider at, at Mar-a-Lago who's been, you know, around Melania Trump and Donald Trump, or at least has, has seen them several times, probably a member there. They came out and spoke to page six, which usually I don't like reading these things because they usually, you know, make up stories and make up lies and, you know, talk trash. But actually, they're saying some really cool things. So let's read this. Melania Trump largely retreated from public life after her four years, but she's now ready to step back into the spotlight, a new report claims. Page Six reports the former fashion model feels she could begin devoting more time to campaigning for her husband, Donald Trump, now that their son Barron is 17 years old. Listen to this. Trump and his family, uh, yeah, Donald Trump and his inner circle are, are convinced he'll win the 2024 presidential election. He wants his wife, Melania Trump, to get more involved in the process. Trump and his family are so secure that he will become president again that insiders at Mar-a-Lago say he's reached an agreement with Melania to step up top-tier diplomatic appearances in 2024. The immediate family, including Melania, is solidly behind the former president. So this is massive news, my friends. Donald Trump's wife is feeling more sure of herself as both her husband's representative and her own position as a diplomatic figure after her positive reception at the Carter funeral. She also spoke at the National Archive ceremony welcoming new citizens to America. That was really beautiful. A source has said, yeah, again, this source, <laughs> whoever this is, but a source said Melania Trump realizes it's her time to join the ranks of historic first ladies and leave her mark for on history. The insider added that Trump, that Donald Trump's missus feels better prepared for her potential role the second time around. Uh, the inside source also also said that Melania Trump recently joined husband Donald Trump at an award ceremony at their home in Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, usually they do attend a lot of like events and stuff at Mar-a-Lago and weddings and stuff like that. The source said they were both in great moods and Melania was going around greeting everyone. How awesome, Melania Trump is so compassionate. It's really quite beautiful. So that's the update with Melania Trump really coming out and defending her husband and joining in for 2024. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Take care and God bless.